Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. How's school? Great. I'm passing the C plus average. But that's good. If I keep up with that average, I can go to Camosa when I graduate. That's great. Thank you for the airplane. It's great. It's got a blue propeller and everything. Terry and I built it together. Who's Terry? A friend at school. We do a lot of shit together. He's blind, right? But that doesn't matter. Next week we're going to a concert. How's your mother? Good. She says hi. Hi. So, do they feed you good in here? Sure. Last night we had fish and chips for supper. That's good. Fried in three-year-old motor oil. Really? Nah. Does that mean I have to go? Yeah. Say, how'd you like to go to Calgary next summer? Calgary? I've never been to Calgary. So, would you like to go? Just you and me? Just you and me. Oh, wow, yeah. All right, next summer then, for sure. We'll go to the Stampede. Wait till I tell Terry. Maybe I'll bring him next week so you can meet him. Sure. I guess I better get going now. I'll see you next week. I'll be here. about skateboarding. Right now, they're working on tricks to film for a competition on YouTube. I'm thinking about trying it out. I'll buy a cheap board first, so it doesn't matter if I bust it up or change my mind. We went over to the Squamo Park to watch, to watch some practice. This one guy, he broke his board in two. It was really intense. This one friend of my brother's has his whole setup in his backyard with rails and everything. He drags down to the street to practice. It's great. Everything's really sturdy. Seems kind of weird at first, like you can just go to the park to practice, but he builds the jumps way higher than they have anywhere else. This one time, he used a whole street to gain speed and got like 10 feet of air. It was awesome. We've seen face plants and bales downstairs and a bunch of that shit, but no one's gotten a brain injury or anything. And that only happens when somebody tries a trick that's too difficult for them though, right? Sometimes, they play this game to see who can do the most tricks without failing. This one time, this guy mangled his wrist so much that it became completely twisted. Like a pretzel. Sweet! My dad told me, when I was little, that he used to live in London. And he had a lot of money. Then he moved to Africa. And he got lost in the Sahara. A few days later, he was all sweaty, and he picked out on dates and everything. The whole shebang. And then some guy in a Volkswagen picked him up and took him down to Kenya. And he decided that what he and was doing was wrong. So he joined the guerrilla group. He then got captured, but he escaped. Where, Where is he now, Mike? In jail, my dad's a jailbird. My dad's a jailbird. My dad's a jailbird. There's no jailbird. <laughs> I like having friends like you, Mike. You're willing to help and understand. They're nice to you. They talk to you. They do things for you. They don't just try to use you to get something. Like this one guy, whose locker's next to mine, tries to borrow money off me. He takes me some of my lunch, and he won't even take his arm. 
I have to hold on to the back of his coat when we walk home. And once, I went to his house for dinner, and all he talked about was what it was like to be blind. I guess he's just going through a phase, though. That's what's great about being a teenager. You do weird things. Like, when adults say, don't you ever think about it before you do it? Right? Yeah. Right. right. But when you're a teenager, you're just thinking about the fun you're having, which is what you need. You eat a lot, too. Like, others? They don't start making food until teenagers come around. I mean, if there were no teenagers in this world, places like McDonald's wouldn't even exist. True. Let's go to McDonald's. Yeah. I got coupons. October 11th. This weekend was great. I went over to Zach's house. He had this really cute little sister, but he said she was annoying, so he paid her 20 bucks to leave the house for a couple of hours. Beat it! We spent most of the time in the rec room. It was decked out with this huge flat screen TV and this really comfy couch. It was excellent. So, uh, ask me why I ditched you on Saturday night. Why did you ditch me Saturday night? I was working out at the gym. You're always working out at the gym. I need a lot of work. You pay more attention to that six pack of yours than you do to me. You know you love it. That's what you think. You're so obsessed with your body. November 1st. Well, I did it. I can't believe I did it. I finally broke up with Zach. He's such an asshole. I'm sick and tired of him ditching me all the time. You know, I broke up with my boyfriend about a month ago. Because, well, he's given me Christmas kisses and birthday kisses and stuff like that. But never just a kiss on an ordinary day. I got tired of that, so I broke it up. She's just not the kind of person I want to go further with. So now, when I see him with another girl, oh, you know how the girls are, older than me. He's all over them. And now, it's like there's a little empty space in my heart. And I don't think it's ever going to be filled up again. Aww. 